The goal of my research group is to explore the epigenetic role of the vitamin folate during fetal and placenta development using mice with a genetic mutation in the folate pathway. It has been known for decades that when a woman lacks folate during pregnancy, there is an increased risk for developmental abnormalities such as neural tube defects in her baby. However, the molecular mechanism of folate during development is still unclear. Our study, which was done in collaboration with colleagues at the University of Calgary, sheds light on this mechanism by showing that the detrimental effects caused by abnormal folate metabolism persist for multiple generations through a process called epigenetic inheritance. So MTRR is a, genetic, is a gene for a genetic disease. It uh, codes for an enzyme called methionine synthase reductase. This enzyme is very special because it sort of intersects a lot of different metabolic pathways. Folate metabolism, vitamin B12 metabolism, and what's called the methionine cycle. We generated an animal model so that we could look at a whole organism rather than say uh, patient cells in a, in a tissue culture dish. Um, in the mutant lines in the animals, we were seeing a broad spectrum of abnormalities during embryonic development. And so that was unusual. And also the thing that really made it unusual and made us sort of stop and pause was the fact that the abnormalities we were seeing were not correlating with the uh, genotypes of animals that were carrying this mutation. Using highly controlled genetic pedigrees, we found that either, when either the maternal grandmother or maternal grandfather carried the MTRR mutation, the development of their grandchildren was disrupted. Defects that we observed included growth restriction, developmental delay, and congenital malformations, such as neural tube, heart, or placenta defects. What is remarkable about this is that the effects occurred even when the parents and the grandchildren were wild type for the MTRR mutation. As a result, the defects were not caused by a genetic effect, but rather an epigenetic effect. We already know that the folate metabolism donates one carbon methyl groups for methylation of DNA. In general, when DNA is methylated, particularly in the regulatory regions, it can determine whether a gene is turned on or turned off. This is called epigenetic regulation. Therefore, changes in methyl group availability, such as when the folate cycle is disrupted, has a de detrimental effect on gene expression patterns by preventing normal epigenetic regulation. So we found that the MTRR mutation disrupts folate metabolism and leads to low levels of global DNA methylation. But interestingly, the placentas of these grandchildren in particular had large changes in DNA methylation causing widespread alterations in gene expression, but particularly genes that are important for normal growth and development. So together, this indicates that an MTRR mutation in either maternal grandparent is able to disrupt epigenetic regulation of genes in their grandchildren. In collaboration with Colleen Guerrero at the University of Calgary, we designed an embryo transfer experiment to determine whether the poor developmental outcome of the grandchildren was caused by one of two factors either an abnormal maternal environment initiated by an MTRR mutation in one of her parents, or inheritance of abnormal DNA methylation patterns or epimutations th through the sperm or egg. In this experiment, the grandchildren were transferred as early embryos from their mother into a different female with a normal maternal environment. We found that this new environment prevented growth defects suggesting that they were caused by an atypical maternal environment in the original mother. Remarkably, severe developmental abnormalities were still present in some of the transferred embryos, suggesting that these defects were caused by epigenetic inheritance. This result was supported by the fact that severe abnormalities were observed in the great-great-grandchildren of an MTRR ancestor. Overall, we showed that folate metabolism plays an epigenetic role during development and the effects persist for multiple generations. In the human population, the full effect of folate fortification programs may not become apparent for more than one generation, which is quite important for aspects of human health. The mechanism behind transgenerational epigenetic inheritance in this study and in the broader context is not well understood However, our study reveals an important genetic mouse model that will be instrumental in exploring this phenomenon in the future.